sacrum. Okay, so think of the skeleton, right? This, you know, the sacrum, you know, the lumbar vertebra, the thoracic, and the cervical. So kind of keep that in mind, because if you, if you know what you're looking at, because at first you look at this, it seems like something alien. Mm -hmm. But you think, okay, that's the neck, that's the thorax, that's kind of the lumbar, lower back, that's the sacral. Then, then a lot of your answers are there, because we have the sacral plexus. A plexus is a kind of a gathering of, of, of nerves that join these tracks, these nerve tracks, and exit the spinal cord, because we want to get the message from the spinal cord and to the spinal cord through the peripheral areas, like the shoulder, the arms, legs. So the plexus, here's the um, cervical plexus here. So these large nerve tracts coming out from the spinal cord, the, nervous, uh, the cervical plexus, cervical for neck. And here's the ganglia. These are clumps of nervous nerve. tissue as well. They kind of look spider-like. So cervical ganglia, cervical plexus. And now you just drop down a little bit and you get into the, the shoulder area. And these are the brachial, thanks. And brachial, we think of brachial means arm. So brachial plexus, moving out from the spinal cord into the arms. Continue down the spinal cord. This one has different names. Um, cardiac and pulmonary, because think of the heart. Cardiac means heart. Pulmonary means lungs. So here's the cardiac pulmonary uh, plexus region here. These are intercostals because costal means rib. In between the ribs, we have the intercostal, uh, we call them these nerves. Yeah, intercostal nerves. Now if you follow the spinal cord, you see that it, it terminates right around here, around T, uh, excuse me, L4, L5. This is the conus medullaris, and it looks cone-shaped. And so if we're gonna do a spinal tap, we wanna go below the conus medullaris so that we're not causing some kind of permanent damage. Branching out from this is the cauda equina, which means horse's tail. Cauda means tail, um, cauda equina. And so these nerves are gonna spread out, and then there's the filum terminal, which is kind of in the center. That's gonna, you can follow it down. Now we're not gonna see um, dura mater, or uh, dorsal root ganglia. Uh, they're microscopic. So you just have to assume they're in there somewhere. Here we're going into the uh, femoral nerve, because there is a leg. So femoral plexus here, excuse me, femoral nerve. Mm -hmm. And then here's this large gathering, that you guys can see a little better, of nerves. You can see it better on this side, the sciatic nerve. Okay, and that's one that goes all the way down into the foot. Uh, this is gonna be the sacral plexus. Um, so yeah, the sacral plexus here and lumbar plexus, lower back. Right. Sacral plexus, lumbar, femoral nerve, sciatic nerve. Got it. It's not that bad, it's actually kind of easy.